All right, it's uh, Wednesday, the 20 something of September. Oh my god, Fat Man on Fat Bike, episode five. It's only taken years to get all these put together. All right, so uh, yesterday we talked about uh, bike frame material choices, and um, oh, this is awkward. I got a runner coming up, and I'm filming myself. I'll get over it. Yeah, he thinks I'm a dork. That guy. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about the bikes I choose to ride. Uh, old man, fat bike. Uh, commented on the video. Thanks, bro. Yeah, and asked if I've been using the same bike all along. And uh, yeah, uh, I have two bikes: a fat bike and a road bike. The f road bike I stopped riding because uh, I got so much weight that it uh, got uncomfortable to ride. Um, and then a couple years ago, my wife, uh, in the desperate hopes that I would uh, get fit or fit her so I wouldn't die young, uh, got me the, uh, what I affectionately call tubs, my surly uh, ice cream truck in the original Jack Frost Blue. Uh, All right, so this is my uh, daily ride. Call them uh, tubs. And it's a uh, OG first year they made it uh, Surly ice cream truck. I want to say 2014. Um, things to note: riding single speed, and I don't use clipless pedals. Other changes would be uh, I got rid of the terrible stock saddle. This is a uh, WTB Rocket, uh, the version with the chromoly rails. And then the other big change is this wickedly weird jones bar um in carbon and then because it's my uh commuter rig right now as well i've got a surly 24 pack rack with a porter house so that i can haul things like groceries and occasionally my work laptop so this is tubs over here is my, I, when I want to feel fast, but probably I'm not going to be fast road bike. It's a uh, Raleigh Grand Prix, um, circa whoosh, probably 2009, 2010. Uh, Shimano 105 group set, a uh, Brooks Cambrium saddle uh, with cutout. Uh, shockingly comfortable, um, although I did snap one of them. Uh, once and it is not single speed the other thing to note is I have a customer wheel uh, I believe that's a tandem wheel with a tandem hub because I'm a big person so yeah these are my whips I mentioned before it's uh, super comfy super fun and uh, I love riding it uh, I have mine set up single speed with flats uh, pedals and those will be topics for other videos. So, uh, fat bikes. I really dig steel fat bikes because they're absurdly strong. And at uh, 475 when I started biking, and even now at 318 uh, as of this morning, uh, I'm way heavy for any shocks made on the market. Uh, even the aftermarket guys don't make shocks with the weight rating so no shocks it's big cushy tires i also live in north dakota if you don't bike in the winter time you're losing out on a lot of quality outside time when it's freaking cold i love it and yeah so fat man fat bike i love fat bikes they're strong they're burly nobody expects you to be fast on them and they're hella comfy. Uh, I'll go, I'll deep dive on my specific gear choices later. Um, just, you know, if you're thinking about buying a bike and you're a really big guy, give a, give a fat bike a, a genuine thought. Um, especially if you have trails in your town or near your town, I think you'll get a lot of utility out of it. But really, the best bike is the bike you'll ride. So that's it. Hope you guys have a great morning and a great day. And uh, I'll be seeing you again uh, next time I bike commute. So probably tomorrow.